What's going on everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer and welcome to a video that I didn't do in the other draft that I was in. Um, I am your coach for the St. John's Sharpedos and this is the UPBA Season 1 Team Analysis. Alright, so those of you who watched my videos before on the uh, the UPL I did not <laughs> I didn't have a very good um, draft that that was entirely my fault it was my first draft and I didn't know what to expect and I paid the price for it obviously but here, I have such a better team, is not even funny. So, let's get right into it. So, the way that the draft work is a little bit different than the UPL, whereas in the UPL we had 12, uh, 12 Pokemon, and here we have 11. Um, so, um... What was what's also different about the UPL is that we also have a designated uh, Z uh, Z crystal user. Um, so this should be should be good. So first we'll just go down we'll just go down the lines of uh, we'll go down the line of the tiers. So the way that the draft worked was that we had one Mega, and we have one Pokemon each of tier one. Two, four, and five, and we also had uh, two picks in tier three, um, and that though those would equal to six hundred points. The other four hundred, because we based it out of a one thousand point total, the other four hundred goes towards four um, free, ba basically uh, four picks that you could pick from any tier. As long as you use up the 400 points so um, so we're gonna go down the line here of the Pokemon that I I drafted for season one of the Universal Pokemon Battlers Alliance or UPBA let's do this so um, we'll go down the line here so I went and picked my mega or no I no, I went and picked uh, my tier one first doesn't really matter um, so we're gonna go down, I said this like three times, we're gonna go down the line. <laughs> uh, okay, so first we're gonna talk about my Mega, uh, Mega Gallade. So, <sighs> Mega Gallade, who I have named Spartacus, because why not? Because are you not entertained? Anyway. <laughs> movie quotes aside I picked Mega Gallade because of um, it's mostly because of his ac uh, access to uh, so many moves um, and being um, and being psychic fighting uh, I don't think he has much in terms of uh, weaknesses I'm just gonna double check this um, I don't think he has too many weaknesses. Yeah, f flying fairy and ghost. So, I mean, weakness weaknesses aside, is not that bad. Um, he ha has a really high uh, attack stat, especially once he megas. Um, special defense is also nothing to scoff at, and he's pretty speedy on top of that. So, basically, go in, hit hard, and um, yeah. So, but like like I said, his move his move pool is absolutely excellent. I remember ta I remember la uh, in the UPL talking with uh, with uh, Matt. You guys know him as uh, Virulin Rogue. Um, helping him with a couple of battles where he used uh, just a regular Gallade, and we were <laughs> we were looking at moves, and we were just like, he knows these moves. Anyway, so he utter wrecked um, in UPL for him. So I figured, okay, let's get Mega Gallade and um, 
use him as a um, basically as the all-around use uh, basically as the all-around mon that um, hits hard and has tons of coverage moves. Uh, so that's Mega Gallade. Next was my tier one pick, and I picked Weavile. Um, Weavile in particular is, I suppose you could say, my main knockoff user. Um, especially when he's Life Orb, uh, because he, with, with his 100, with his 120 base stat in attack, um, <laughs> he's uh. Him as a knockoff user is just going to be is going to be crazy, um, and uh, with access to priority moves such as uh, Ice Shard and um, Icicle Crash. Now, and, and Icicle Crash in particular is not priority, but is definitely like the best uh, move. Uh, for him, especially uh, especially with his uh, 125 base stat speed, so that's kind of. But we've all mostly is to go in, knock off the item, and uh, and basically leave. <laughs> um, the only issue I have with uh, with Weavile is he doesn't he. He's the definition of a glass cannon. His uh, defense sucks ass. He he <laughs> he basically dies by being blown on. So, <laughs> um, yeah. But he's basically there to as my main knockoff user. I know I have a call. I know um, as uh, as I go through the draft, I'm going to get more. Um, or at least one in particular, maybe two, that uh, I could also use as a knockoff user, but because of how fast Weavile is, he's definitely going to be my main knockoff user. Um, next up, he's also, next up, Araquanid. Um, Araquanid is also my Z user, uh, with, because of his access to Water Bubble and Liquidation, um, <laughs> co um, on top of that, with access to, uh, because he's, uh, to Hydro Vortex, this thing's gonna be powerful. Uh, reason why I say that is because, uh, Water Bubble increases the attack, uh, increases, uh, water-based, uh, um, water-based physical? I think it's water-based physical. Hold on a second. Uh, rock, a rock one it. I think it's uh, physical based water bubble. Oh no! Lowers the power of fire type moves and prevents Pokemon from and prevents the, prevents it from getting burned. Um. Oh no! And doubles the power of water type moves. So you got that liquidation and hydro vortex on top of that. This thing's gonna be. Um, he's going to be, uh, he's definitely going to be integral to the team, that's for sure. Um, and he's also a bit of a tank too, because, uh, like, I'm just double checking his stats there now. Uh, he has, he has, right now he has the highest base de uh, special defense total of my team. Um, physical defense, no, that goes to another mon that I will get to, sh uh, very shortly. Um, okay. So that's a Rockwinid. Next is Tentacruel. Tentacruel is my rap is going to be my Rapid Spin user. Uh, rapid Spin, Toxic Spikes, uh, Scald, just to try and get a burn. Um, yeah. So not much really to say there about Tentacruel. Um, like I said, Rapid Spin. I kind of I needed a Rapid Spin user anyway, and I figured Tentacruel would fit the bill. Especially with his poison typing as well, I figured uh, rapid spin mixed in with with uh, toxic spikes should be should be fairly good, um, or at least we or at least I hope. <laughs> uh, next is Crobat. Crobat, I wasn't thinking about using at first. Um, Crobat is well Crobat. Um, he's 
uh, abysmally fast with his base uh, speed of 130. Um, he's basically there to Brave Bird, Cross Poison, outspeed everything and dealing like dealing poison damage or whatever. Um, next up is oh my god, I'm burping all the time now. Uh, next is Cofagragus. Now, remember I said earlier that uh, there's another mon that has a high base defense? Yeah, that's Cofagragus. Um, I mostly pick Cofagragus because there's going to be a lot of abilities uh, going to be thrown around. And I figured using Mummy uh, mixed in with his defenses... Would <laughs> would take those abilities and basically just throw it out the window. I know that uh, mummy will affect me if they're infected. If they're infected with mummy, they'll they can infect me with it. I'm kind of okay with that. Um, but Cafagragus is also that one that I want to use. Um. Because I don't really have a Shadow Ball user, and or just special in general, um, and with the with, with the wall that Crofagrigus is, um, I figured he would be uh, would be uh, would be fine. <laughs> uh, next is Adeno. Now. Originally, I didn't want Adeno. I wanted Aromatis, but that got drafted literally in the same round that I was going to draft it. Uh, Adeno isn't really much to say about Adeno other than the fact that Adeno is solely for healing uh, with access to Regenerator, um, and, as well as Heal Bell and Wish. Um... Adeno is may and maybe access to double edge if if I don't know um, if I don't know what other move to put on it. But Adeno is my heal is is my cleric. Next is Gastrodon. Gastrodon has been seeing a lot of VGC late uh, VGC lately, and I've been seeing that in uh, streams and stuff and I want to give him a try um, especially with its typing water uh, being water and ground the only uh, the only weak uh, the only weakness it has being grass and it's just a and it's also a wall look at uh, like like or not not really so much as a wall but it has a high HP um, but, uh, I want, there isn't really much I want to say about Gastrodon, because I haven't really used Gastrodon before, but Gastrodon, I've been seeing, like I said, like I said before, it's been seeing, a, has been seeing a lot of EGC, and I kind of want to give him a try, so that's sort of why. <laughs> Next is Hydreigon. I picked Hydreigon because I need because Hydreigon is power. Um, being a Dark Dragon, basically the big red button. Draco Meteor, Draco Meteor, Draco Meteor, basically, uh, for <laughs> for lack of a better word. Um, Hydreigon, like I said, is just Dragon user. Uh, my big red button. And, uh, yeah, and like I said, he's power. He has access to, like, moves like Dragon Pulse and Draco Meteor that I mentioned already. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, next is... Ro okay, so... I've used Rotom before in the UPL. That one was, um... Rotom Fan. <laughs> Personally, I've been using Rotom Wash. This time, I'm using Rotom Mo. Um, access to 
levitate uh, completely negates uh, moves like earthquake that it's half electric typing or yeah half electric typing which is totally negate uh, so it's completely immune from ground type moves thank god um, and it, it, it does have a Y and because of its um, because that it's because it's Rotom uh, he does have access to quite a uh, pretty good move pool and uh, he's pretty defensive on top of that too looking at his uh, base looking at his uh, base stats I mean base 116 special uh, defense and special defense um, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna use him because he's quite versatile um, so I uh, basically Rotom is going to be on a case by case, uh, basically on a case by case basis. So that's Rotom. Last but not least, Bronzong. So Bronzong in particular is going to be, for the most part, he's going to be my Trick Room setter because outside, outside of Cro, uh, outside of Crobat. Uh, Crobat, Weavile, and Mega Glade. The rest of my uh, the rest of my team are slow. Yeah, outside of Mega Glade, Weavile, uh, Crobat, and Tentacruel, um, they all uh, yeah outside of those they all have speed less than a hundred. Um, so Bronzong is t is basically going to be my uh, Trick Room Setter, Gyro Ball, uh, maybe Hypnosis. I don't know. I haven't really. That one's probably on a case by case basis as well. Um, so let me raise this up a bit. There we go. There we go. I mean, <laughs> of course, now I make adjustments and I'm close to the end of the video. What is wrong with me? Um, yeah, so if, um, but yeah, that's pretty much the team actually. <laughs> now I'm at the end of the video. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> uh, so that that's the team. So I mean, we got Mega Glade, Weavile, Araquanid, Tentacruel, Crobat, Cofagrius, I don't know, Gastronon, High Dragon, Rotom, Mo, and Bronzong. That was quick. I apologize. I usually talk fast, and I try not to do it in my videos, but that was fast. I apologize. <laughs> um, so, now, as of recording this video, um, the battles have already started. We're already in week three, as or we just started week three, as compared to this vi as uh, recording of this video. Um, Week two, there was an issue. There's an issue with week two that I'll probably that I'll probably do another video about. Um, but expect this and week one this week. This week, as in, uh, like I'm recording this on a Sunday. This is probably this is probably going to be out. Um, maybe Wednesday, maybe or. Uh, Probably this video is probably going out Tuesday, and the week one battle is probably going to go out on Thursday. And, uh, yeah. So, be on the lookout for that, and, as always, guys, I don't know why I'm doing my outro like that, I don't know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that's my team. If you guys have any suggestions for... Uh, if you guys have any comments about my team, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And um, all my social medias is right in the description. And all that good, wonderful stuff. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button like you never hit it before. Just give it a punch. I don't know why I said that. And subscribe to the channel for more videos. I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer. And I will see you guys in the next video.